If you happen to be around the campus of Lincoln Memorial University, you may have seen a bigger crowd than usual. LMU Tri-State News caught up with President James B. Dawson to find out what the commotion was all about. Well, this is homecoming, and one of the major events of homecoming has been the dedication of our math and science building, 140,000 square feet of high-tech and classrooms and laboratories. It's a chance for us to really celebrate the progress that's being made here at LMU. The progress that was being celebrated reached to people far across the state, including the governor of Tennessee. Governor Haslam took some time out from his visit to tell us why this building means so much to future education. A couple things. First of all, it really fits a couple needs. Number one, we need more people in the state with degrees. We're way behind the national average. Second, uh, it's no secret our rural areas are the ones that struggle the most. And part of LMU's mission is to serve the rural part of Tennessee that we're in now and really the entire region. And so it's really addressing both. More, uh, more of a larger percentage of our population with a degree, which this will enable, and then second, specific role to outreach to kind of the rural part of Appalachia that we're in right now. So again, it's, uh, this is kind of a, if you're in the state, this is kind of a two for one deal in, in terms of taking on some of our biggest needs. Okay. The Math and Science Building is so much more than just classrooms and office space. It has now opened up more opportunities for the university as a whole. It allows us to expand in many programs. We just were given permission to increase the size of our entering class in the medical school by 75 students. And when you add students, you need space. And uh, the more students we have, the more space is required. And so this grand facility will accommodate the growth of our medical school, the growth of our PA program, and the expansion of our nursing program, as well as the increase in the number of science majors we have at the undergraduate level. As the newest addition on campus, it not only holds the record as the largest building on campus, but there is hope that the building will lead the university into the future. Well, it is clearly one of the signature buildings on campus, and it will be uh, the cornerstone for uh, the programs that we add and the opportunity for us to increase our research efforts. Uh, the fourth floor of this building is dedicated to research and as we move from a level five institution in accreditation to a level six institution we are required to increase our research agenda and so this building will also allow us to increase uh, all the efforts that we have in research but long term I think it will be the place that is the center point, the focal point for our uh, science efforts on campus. Reporting from Lincoln Memorial University, this is Ashley Hurley with LMU Tri-State News. Welcome to Lincoln Memorial University and the Math and Science Building. We are pleased you are here and hope you enjoy your tour through one of the most high-tech learning centers in the nation. The tour begins in the grand 435-seat auditorium. The grand auditorium serves as the primary lecture hall for first-year osteopathic medical students from the DeBus College of Osteopathic Medicine. At every seat, there is a power port to accommodate students, computers, and a desk microphone for interactive sessions. Utilizing one of the most advanced wireless networks, students can download course materials and take notes directly on their computers as they sit in class. The lecture's podium contains multiple image and video sources including a computer, a document camera, a projection system, and an interactive display. The instructor can project images, show videos, write notes in digital ink, and even adjust the lighting in the room. Lecture sources are projected into the room through three screens. The two outer screens project one source while the middle screen projects a separate source. Every lecture is video recorded and archived. The auditorium's video cameras also allow for interactive video conferencing and better student-faculty interaction. Push to talk microphones at each seat ensure that the classmates and video conferencing participants alike can hear questions and comments. Two smaller auditoria are located across the hall where undergraduate math and science classes are held. There are four biology teaching labs in the math and science building, each of which features 32 ample student workstations and full classroom technology. This allows teaching and a lecture lab hybrid approach. Comfortable, adjustable seating is conducive for microscope work. Sinks are located on opposite ends of benches to reduce traffic congestion. As part of hazard control and best lab practices, materials are collected for disposal rather than put down a sink. The biology labs use ductless fume hood technology, which captures nearly all volatile materials to provide a healthy learning environment. The fume hood technology also reduces heating and cooling costs. 
Chemicals are stored in special ductless storage cabinets which also trap contaminants. Autoclaves in both preparation areas support microbiology teaching and proper treatment of biological waste. Each lab suite also includes an ice maker and dishwasher along with a dedicated storage room. In the four chemistry labs you will notice the significant use of ductless fume hoods for organic chemistry lab instruction. This allows students to conduct experiments inside a contained space for safety and health protection. The general chemistry lab has a capacity of 32 workstations with a sink, vacuum, network and power for each. Computer interface systems are used to teach a number of chemistry principles which build skills for the workforce as most labs use computer interfaced instruments. The chemistry instrumentation lab is filled with computer interfaced instruments. Students are taught several key chemistry instruments including atomic absorption, infrared, ultraviolet and visible and fluorescent spectroscopy along with gas chromatography. This is very important as each chemistry program graduate will complete an undergraduate research project with the supervision of a faculty member. Physics labs are taught with a significant number of computer interface systems. In this room, instructors have the flexibility to teach a variety of physical science courses including those needing fume hoods. On the second floor is an 1800 square foot nursing skills lab including a 24 desk classroom that can be utilized either in conjunction with the skills lab or can be closed to provide a separate classroom as needed. The skills lab includes eight beds, two sinks, and extra storage cabinets. Mannequins and task trainers are used in this lab to develop and assess nursing skills for the ASN, BSN, and MSN programs. On the third floor is a state-of-the-art allied health learning center shared by the athletic training education program, the medical laboratory science program, and the physical education and kinesiology program. All three programs rely on the didactic learning in a classroom setting as well as clinical education for skills acquisition. Equipped with exam tables, a taping wrapping island, phlebotomy chair, and several pieces of fitness assessment equipment, this area is tailored to provide optimal clinical experiences for all three programs. The fourth floor anatomy suite boasts a unique four pod design. Each pod holds eight cadaver tables and is separated by glass walls. Connectivity between the pods allows them to be divided in any combination to accommodate large or small classes or exercises. The teaching technology is contained in a private room behind the lab to eliminate the need for podiums and computers within the laboratory space. Lectures and demonstrations are instead projected on flat screen TVs within each pod. Each cadaver table is lit by an overhead surgical light and a high magnification camera which allows for close up examination of anatomical structures. The suite also includes a model room for housing and study of anatomical models.